If you like my videos, don't forget to follow me on social media to keep up to date with all the latest news regarding my channel and my content. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe below or at the end of the video. Lee coming at you once again from Down Under with another trailer reaction. I'm sorry for spamming uh, you guys with trailer reactions today. Uh, of course today was the Super Bowl, or last evening was the Super Bowl, depending where you are in the world and when you're watching this or whatever. And one of the trailers that dropped was actually a preview for uh, the Solo A Star Wars Story, the Han Solo Solo movie. Um, so the trailer for the trailer dropped today. I reacted to that, got a decent reception to that. So we're gonna do a reaction for the full trailer, which has just dropped online right now. I don't know, going into this, what do I think? I don't know, I'm not 100% sold on this movie, uh, as I said earlier. For me, there were a few like red flags in that early trailer for the trailer that just kind of made me go, oh geez, I, I just, I, I don't know. Uh, and there's been, uh, of course, the movie has had, like, production hell. There have been all these stories coming left, right, and centre about this movie. Uh, I don't know what to believe. I'm still trying to go into this with an open mind. I'm still trying to let none of these stories or anything influence how I feel about this movie. Because I, I, I love Star Wars. But look, we're going to have a look at this. I am hopelessly hopeful. That's what I've been saying about this movie. I hope it's good. I hope it blows me away. But what I've been seeing is just... Just not don't know what to think. So anyway, we're gonna put my headphones back on. My Bluetooth ones are still dead, so I have to use the old ones. And uh, we're gonna react to this. Let's see how we go, I'm so nervous. Okay, and play. I've been running scams on the streets since I was 10. I was kicked out of the flight academy. For having a mind of my own. I'm gonna be a pilot. Best in the galaxy. Hey, kid. I'm putting together a crew. Ooh, really? <laughs> you in? That's yes. I might be the only person. Who knows? What you really are. What's that? Get ready. Thought we were in trouble there for a second, but it's fine. We're fine. I, um, uh, honestly, I, I'm, I'm not sure what to think. I'm not, uh, it's, um, uh, I, I don't know. Um, first thing that, that strikes me is that, uh, nothing that we saw in the little, t uh, the trailer tease yesterday was in this at all. Maybe, no, maybe one or two, like, tiny little clips, but, but the rest of it's completely new in this. I don't know what to think. Uh, yeah, I'm excited at the prospect of another Star Wars movie in like three months. Um, I feel, I, I kind of feel like, like a little bit underwhelmed. Like I'm not, I don't know, this doesn't feel like Han Solo to me. It's, it's a very, very brief snippet of, of Olden Ehrenreich as Han Solo, but it doesn't, it doesn't feel like him to me. I mean, we don't want, I don't necessarily want someone who's just going to go in there and do a Harrison Ford impersonation. That's definitely not what we want in this movie, but it just it doesn't feel like Han Solo. It feels like we're in the Star Wars world. I mean, there's some really cool stuff in here. Visually really cool stuff. I actually, I, I like the idea of, of the storyline, which is about Han Solo being rejected from uh, from the Flight Academy and all that stuff and, and just becoming his own pilot and obviously becomes part of this ring of smugglers. That's cool. That's like a cool story. But I don't, I kind of feel like I wish, I wish, I wish it was like a story they'd just done as a comic or something. I, I don't want to say anything bad about Star Wars. I want to, I don't want to hate on it. I don't, I certainly don't hate anything about this. I just, I'm not sure if I really 
like a lot of what I'm seeing in this. It just doesn't, I said this earlier, it's, it at times looks like Star Wars. I mean, it kind of reminds me of the vibe that, that Rogue One, the vibe that Rogue One had. At the same time, it sort of, it doesn't, it, it this doesn't feel like Star Wars to me. It's, it's kind of strange. I don't know. I don't know. I think, I think I need to see more, um, more trailers, more something from this to, to give me something. I'm still hopelessly hopeful that this movie's going to be good. I'm going to anticipate it. I'm going to be excited going into the cinema to see this, I'm sure. And I'm sure I'll probably enjoy it, but <clears throat> I don't know. This is, I don't think this is what I, uh, this is what I was expecting to see. Not necessarily a bad thing, but this is just like, kind of, almost like, it just didn't feel like, it didn't, doesn't, it didn't feel like Star Wars. And that didn't feel like Han Solo. That's the one thing. I mean, people keep saying this is the movie we didn't ask for and we didn't want. Well, I don't mind. I'm, I'm up for as many Star Wars movies as they're going to give me. You know, make good stories. Um, good, exciting stories. If they think it's going to be a good idea, then I'm, I'm all for it. But the fact is, we're getting a Star Wars movie every year for the foreseeable future. There's going to be a couple of duds in there. I know a lot of people are going to go, Oh, The Last Jedi was a dud. The Force Awakens was a dud. Rogue One was a dud. Oh, they're all duds. No, I love them. I I love them all. This one to me feels like the first one where I might actually sit in the cinema and go, well that wasn't that great. I'm not gonna hate on this. I mean if this isn't a, a great movie then so what? I mean it's like water off a duck's back. I, I don't care. I'm not gonna waste my time hating on it or hating people who liked it or whatever. If you like the look of this trailer then good on you. I mean that's that's cool. To me this just didn't, I, I, I can't even put my thoughts into, into words here because this was just, it's, oh man. If this was like John Starpilot, a Star Wars story, like a new character, that's cool. I think this would be cool. This doesn't feel like Han Solo to me. That's just... I don't know. That's not Han Solo. It doesn't sound like him, doesn't look like him. He's not even acting like him here. I said I don't want a, I don't want a carbon copy of Harrison Ford. I don't believe Harrison Ford should be the only actor who can play the character. I feel like characters should be able to be embodied by different people, but when you have someone as iconic as Han Solo, there's there's almost like a preconceived thing that the that the character should feel uh, should be a certain way. Um, and this this doesn't just doesn't feel like that to me. Unfortunately. Uh, what did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know down in the comments below. If you're a first time viewer of my channel, it's the first video of mine you've seen. If you like this, I'm sorry if this was a bit of a lacklustre reaction. Um, I've been riding the Star Wars hype bus all year, or since The Last Jedi. I loved it so much, but this is kind of, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm really worried about this movie. I'm really, really worried about this movie. Uh, look, yeah, if you did like my reaction today, you'd like to see more, then please, at the end of the video, hit that big old subscribe button up on your screen. To all my regular viewers out there, thank you once again for joining me, and to absolutely everybody out there, don't forget to hit that like button down below. It does a great deal in getting my videos out there. I hope I'll see you all again soon. Until next time, though, guys, take care, and I hope you have a wonderful day.